Grammy nominated guitarist, vocalist, and songwriter Christon Kingfish Ingram has quickly become the defining blues voice of his generation. From his hometown of Clarksdale, Mississippi, to stages around the world, the 22 year old has already headlined two national tours and performed with friends, including Buddy Guy. He's been interviewed by Sir Elton John on his Apple Music podcast and recently released a duet with Bootsy Collins. Rolling Stone declared him one of the most exciting young guitarists in years with the sound that encompasses B.B. King, Jimi Hendrix, and Prince. The Chicago Defender had a chance to sit down with this young and rising blues artist ahead of his show March 27th at the Vic Theater in Chicago. Check out my interview with Kingfish. Can you tell me what was your first exposure to blues music? Well, I want to say uh, it was kind of like an assortment of things. Like uh, my dad showed me a uh, Muddy Waters documentary, uh, PBS. Uh, he took me to the Delta Blues Museum and showed me some artifacts there. And I lived right next to a blues man full of uh, local legends. So I was very much I was very much exposed to it at a uh, at an early age for sure. I had all of these different uh, things around me for sure. And when did you know this is the music I need to be I need to be making? That when did you know that was what you wanted to do? Well, when I had enrolled in the Delta Blues Museum Arts and Education Program, uh, we would do like little uh, performances here and there. And then one of the uh, instructors, Bill Howland Matt Perry, he's a nationally but locally known um, uh, bluesman. He gave me the name Kingfish. He would always give certain people in the class, like you know, uh, different times. You know, if you wanna, you know, if you were doing good, you could come to his actual show at Ground Zero Blues Club and jam with him. So when he gave me that opportunity and I saw how, you know, well I did and everything, it kind of it kind of struck something with me that, you know, this is something that I could be doing for life for sure. Mm -hmm. when, what kind of lessons and advice were you given as you were beginning your career that have stayed with you? Well, for one, when it comes to the blues, blues is always talking about life. And the main thing when you plan blues, you want to stay authentic. And that's was, you know, that was one of the biggest lessons that, you know, was, you know, given to me all through up and down my career, just, you know, stay authentic, you know, talk about the real thing, talk about you, you know, don't, you know, don't sing anyone else's story. Cause with blues being about life, you know, it's supposed to be about your story and no one else's. Yeah. So as you're, you know, when you're talking about the genre and its history and its legacy, how do you honor that while still making sure you're, like you said, you're being completely authentic to telling and sharing your story. How do you meld the two? I would say what I do is I, I try to, I try to take from other genres of music that are still based in black culture. I would say, you know, like hip hop or whatnot. And then, you know, because hip hop is the great grandchild of the blues, I would like to call it. So I like to, you know, I like to melt those two. So all while not, you know, disrespecting the elders and the forefathers will not. That's how I like to meld the two together, you know, for sure. Mm -hmm. Can you talk to me a little bit about the tour, your upcoming or the tour that started? Oh, well, um, this is, a, I think, I want to say we're like two month, two, two month and a half tour. We got so many cities coming up, uh, Chicago being one of them. We have a date at the, at the Vic, uh, March 27th. Uh, we have four uh, beautiful and amazingly uh, uh, talented uh, young women coming on the uh, tour with us. Maggie Rose, who will be in the Chicago date uh, uh, with us. Uh, Camille Parker, Brittany uh, 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 Spencer. And I think there's one more. And um, I think I think Rick can give you that name for sure. But yeah, most definitely. For sure. Well, you know, Chicago is a big blues town. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got a lot of friends up there. Toronto Cannon and whatnot. All those guys. Yeah, yeah. So I have to ask you, you know, when you're crafting your your art, when it, where are you drawing inspiration? Like what people will always say, you know, you're too young to know, have a story to tell about the blues. So where does that come from? I would say, uh, you know, people say that, but I would say there are some things in my life, you know, that, you know, I, I kind of went through 
you know, and things that have transpired that, you know, gave me a right, I would like to say, to sing the blues. And, and not only that, of course, you know, you know, that's how it's supposed to be because, like I said, blues is life. So, you know, I, I just try to take my inspiration from life and the people around me, you know, even all the culture, even the people around me, whatnot, for sure. What are you looking most forward to about performing here in Chicago? Oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, the people. I love I love Chicago culture. Every time we come to Chicago, we have a great time. We have a lot of fun. So just 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 knowing that I'm back in that space. I, I you know I, I love it. It's going to be a, it's going to be a beautiful show. It's been a long time since we played there. Yeah, we're an animated bunch, too. You know, we <laughs> like to enjoy. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, you know, what what do you want your legacy to be as an artist as you think about your career and what you've been able to accomplish at such a young age you're so young and have accomplished so much what do you hope your legacy is well i just want to be one of the ones that you know prove the prove the myth you know wrong that all young black kids are just into anything that's urban and rap and which i which i love that but that's not all that we're into. So I just want to, I want to show people, I want to be one of the young black kids I heard that, you know, it's all right to listen to this traditional style of music. It's a part of our culture, you know, you know, you know, blues is black history. And that's something that we need to know and understand and learn. It's an incredible way. And my grandmother used to always say, like, you can hear about your history through this music. Oh, wow. I got to use that. Always tell me when you listen to the blues, you can't help but feel your ancestry and your root. Right. Is there anything else that you want our audience, our Chicago Defender audience to know about you, your music, the performance? Uh, just know I really do love Chicago and I've always, uh, I've always drawn inspiration from Chicago blues and different Chicago blues artists. So just to, you know, come here and getting able to do my thing is really amazing. So thank you guys for sure. Yeah. Are you excited to actually get in front of people, you know, and perform again? Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. You know, you already know the pandemic was a heartache, you know, being playing in front of small, you know, not small, but, you know, empty seats and everything on live. So it was, yeah, I'm I'm really happy to finally be able to, you know, to reach the people and reach the audience this time. Well, I can't thank you enough for talking to the Chicago Defender. I can't, I wish you all the success in the world. You, you're already on the right trajectory. So I just keep wishing you keep moving up. Uh, thank you so much for the opportunity. I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you. Yes, yes, definitely. Take care. Same to you.